Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. In this video, I'm going to show you one simple trick that we are using constantly to increase our email opening rates by around 50% on average, and therefore also increase the results of all our email marketing efforts. Now, I'm first gonna talk about what we do, and then I'm gonna show you how we actually do it so you can apply it yourself. So the trick I'm talking about is quite straightforward. When you send out an email, it doesn't matter if it's a broadcast, so a one-time email that you send out only once to your audience, or when you set up an automation, so some kind of email sequence that is triggered at a certain event, so when a user opts into your list or when they buy a specific product, and that then throughout a certain interval sends multiple emails to your users, what we do is we always send the email twice. But obviously we don't send the email twice to everyone because that would annoy people and only increase your unsubscribe rates. But we check if users opened our email and if they didn't open the email, we send it again a day later, but with a slightly adjusted subject line and maybe even with a slightly adjusted email itself, which could be something like this. I've sent you an important email yesterday, but apparently you have been too busy to read it. So that's why I attached it below to make sure you don't miss out. And then you just have the original email text again. Now you may be wondering how effective that strategy is, but as said in the beginning, for us on average, our opening rates increase by roughly 50% and therefore also our click-through rates and our conversion rates from our emails. Now that we've talked about what to do, I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how to do it. We personally use Active Campaign for this. You may be able to do this also in other autoresponders, but in some it will not be possible. So for example, if you're using ClickFunnels follow-up funnels, you will not be able to apply the same system to your follow-up funnels or to your automated emails based on the way that follow-up funnels work. If you don't yet have an active campaign account to follow along, you can check the link in the description down below to start your free 14 day trial and set up the automations the same way we have. Now let's go ahead and take a look at active campaign. So here you can see our active campaign dashboard and in order to set this up or to perform that recent action with your manual broadcast, all you would have to do is go to campaigns and once there, you will see the broadcasts that you send out in the past. And all you have to do is click on the arrow icon next to one of your broadcasts and click on recent options. And here you can simply select send to contacts who have not read or opened this campaign. And then just follow the rest of the flow to send out the same email again to people that did not open the email that you sent them previously and increase the results of your marketing efforts. Now, besides the regular email campaigns, you can do the same within automations. Now, within automations, I'm gonna quickly create a new automation to show you exactly how it works from the beginning. So once we click on create an automation, I'm gonna select start from scratch, click on continue, and we're going to have to wait a little bit for active campaign to actually prepare the new automation. Now, once that's done, you will have to define a trigger and that trigger usually is when a user subscribes to a list. So you can select this and click on continue, but you'll also have other triggers available. So you can basically create very, very flexible automations. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to define which list the user has to opt in. So I'm going to take our application list for this specific demo and I'm going to say that this automation should only run once, which means when the user opts in again on the same list, it will not trigger the same email sequence again. But there are cases where you want to trigger automations multiple times, but in most cases you only want to send them once. Once that's done, you click on add start and active campaign will start setting up your automation, which again will take a couple of seconds or maybe even a minute. Now active campaign is going to ask you to add your first action and we are going to select to send an email. So this would be the welcome email that you send people when they opt in on your list. We didn't create an email so far, so we have to click on create an email to get started. And again, wait for active campaign to load the next step of the flow. The first thing we'll need is the name of the email and we're gonna call that one welcome and simply click on create, which will take us to the email creation flow where we can set up the subject line and the email body and so on. But before we are able to do that, we have to select our email template. Now we could either create an email from scratch or select one of the templates that we previously saved or if you signed up for a new account, you will see a lot of pre-created templates from ActiveCampaign itself that you can use as well. 
And I'm gonna pick our Christian Rauchenwald template here and I'm gonna enter a subject line demo email and click on continue. You can also change the sender's address here, which you probably should do to something like info at yourdomain.com or support at yourdomain.com. And once you've done that, you can actually create the email. Now Active Campaign's email editor is very powerful compared to other email editors out there. And it also allows you to set up conditional contacts. So you can show certain elements only if the recipient fulfills certain conditions. So if they're from a certain country, if they opened a specific previous email, if they have a certain CAC or not, but that's not the purpose of this video. So we're just gonna click on save and exit. So our first email is set up properly. Now once back in the automation view, all we have to do is click on save and the email will be added to our automation itself. Now you should see something like this and that's also one of the things why I personally love Active Campaign so much because you have the visualization of all your automations. Now after we send that email to our new recipient or new subscriber, the first thing we want to do is we're going to click on the plus icon and we want to add a condition to wait for one day because we don't want to send them multiple emails on the same day but we're going to send them an email sequence. So we just add that new element in our automation and after that is where the actual magic happens. We want to add another element and we're going to pick again conditions and workflows. We're going to say if else. And our condition is going to be if the user has opened our welcome email. And once we add that, the automation is going to split in two parts. In the yes part, so people that opened the welcome email and in the no part where people didn't open the welcome email. So here on the yes side, we're going to add our email that users are supposed to get on the second day. So we're going to click on the plus icon, sending options, send an email. And for the purpose of this, I'm just gonna select the welcome email again, but you would select create a new email and you would create the email for day number two. Now we save that. So that email is also added to the flow of our automation. And on the no side, we want to set up our resend logic. So what we do here is we also click on the plus icon. And again, we select send an email. And this time we select our welcome email, click on the arrow on the right and select copy and edit. So we create a copy of our welcome email, which allows us to adjust everything off that email while at the same time saves us the time to write the whole email again. Now it's going to take a little bit an active campaign without you needing to do anything will automatically open that new copied email in the editor. But I said, it's going to take a minute before it actually happens. Now in here, we have the copy of our welcome email. You can see that at the top, it says email welcome copy, and you can modify everything in that email. But again, usually would just change the beginning a little bit, point out like, oh, it looks like you missed our yesterday's email. And I wanted to make sure that you don't miss out. So here you can find it attached below. And you again would go through the rest of the flow by clicking on next. For our purpose, we're just going to click save and exit right now. Back in the automation screen, what we can see now, if we sum it up, so we have a trigger when people opt into a specific list, they get their welcome email. Then the automation waits for one day and checks if the user actually opened that welcome email. If they opened it, it continues and sends them the next email in the sequence. And if they didn't open it, it sends them a copy of the original email that you modified trying a slightly different subject line and adjusting the beginning of the email or even more parts of the email. Now, once we've sent the user the second email, we again want to wait for one day. So again, we are going to add a wait element, wait for a specific time and say wait for one day. Now, once we are at this point, we want to send the user the second email. So we're again going to click on the plus icon and we're going to select the conditions and workflow and the go to action or element. And we are simply going to drag and drop the green dot to the second email. So if we look at it now from the top again, somebody subscribes to our email list, they get a welcome email, it waits for one day. If they opened the welcome email, they get the second email. If they did not open the welcome email, they get a slightly different variation of the welcome email. It again waits for one day and then it sends them the second email. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna save this as a demo automation and then we are going back to our automation to show you one of our automations actually in action. So if we take our sea of power scripts automation here, you will know this. There's another nice thing with an active campaign on each of the wait steps where you have the delay, you can actually see how many people are currently on that specific step. 
And if you were to click on the queue, you will actually see a list of the users that are on that specific step. Now, as you can see, our automation here is a little bit bigger, but it follows the same approach with some variations. Here, for example, we are checking if people are already members in our Facebook group using tags and third party logic. And if they are already members, it continues on this side. But if they are not already members, it sends them a promotion email to join the group and again, resends a variation of that in case they didn't open it. Now, last but not least, in order to check how well your automations are working and how this resend tactic actually helps you, you can go to reports and there go to automation reports and simply click on your automation. You see all the emails that you've set up. So for example, here we have a welcome email, our day two email, our welcome retry, our day two retry and so on. And if we scroll down here to the bottom, you can see that all the emails exist twice, always with the regular title and then the title with retry. Now, if we look at the last email here, you can see it has been sent initially to 94 people. And out of those 94 people, 31% or actually 32% opened the initial email. Now from the 60 something people that didn't open it initially, you can see the recent action here. And from those, another 10 people finally opened the email. So overall from the 94 contacts, actually not 30, but 40 opened the original email increasing our opening rate from 32% to roughly 40% or slightly above 40%. Now, if we pick any other email here, so for example, the Facebook group email, you can see initially we have 37% opening rate, so 42 out of 111 contacts. And from the rest of the people that we sent the email again, we got another 13 people to open that email, increasing our opening rate to roughly 50%. Now that's it, that's how easy you can almost double your email opening rates simply by sending emails again to people that didn't open them before. Now ActiveCampaign allows you to do a lot more so you could send an email again to people that opened but didn't click on your link and so on. There is literally endless opportunities on how to personalize your email sequence to the actions of a user which will increase your result dramatically because your emails will fit way better to your user's behavior. Now, as mentioned before, you'll probably also able to do similar things in other autoresponders, but for us personally, ActiveCampaign is the autoresponder of our choice simply because of that graphical user interface that makes it easy to keep track of what's going on even in the most complicated and personalized automizations. If you don't yet have an account, check the link in the description below to start your free 14 day trial and watch how your email marketing results almost double simply by using the benefit of sending emails again to people who didn't open them before. If you have any questions regarding ActiveCampaign or how to migrate your current autoresponder to ActiveCampaign, don't forget you can always leave a comment down below. And if you were able to take something positive away from that video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next week with another video. Till then, bye-bye.